Well, how do there, chums? Design Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, for you guys, any of you of us, I'm back inside of No Man's Sky. And we're going to be learning ourselves. Some callbacks. Actually, no, I think we've learned all the callbacks, haven't we? I, I believe we have. Yes, we've learned all the callbacks' words. It's just the autophage that we have remaining. And when I say it's just the autophage remaining, I lie. We've also got to do some freaking missions for the outlaws. Yeah, I'm not on the highest badge yet for that one. So we need to do some of those. But on to the auto page. I'm going to jump on over into games so you can see it's a little bit larger on screen. So I'm hoping to hit 40 repairs completed for the auto page salvage. And I'm hoping to hit the 650 words learned in this episode. So hopefully that's something you want to stick around for to see if I can complete my tasks and my missions. Right, OK, well, let's head on out. I mean, it's it's my own milestones, my own markers that I'm making. It's, it's not like a super challenge. But I've done everything else. Done everything else in the game. This is my end game. I don't know what your end game is for No Man's Sky, but learning words is mine. Okay, I know. It's freaking weird, isn't it? That one also, trying to get my frigates up to an S class, which I've been plugging away for a while now. And um, I haven't managed to S class these two. One of them has evolved into an A. Hopefully the other one has as well now. Let's head on over to here. So a little submission that I'm doing is just to see if I can get some of these weird sacks. I mean, I've, I've completely upgraded my living ship. But I just want to see, because other people are saying that they can't get the actual sacks. They're getting side knock kick eggs, like I just got there all the freaking time. But they're not getting the sacks, whatever the sacks are. But um, I'm not, I'm, I didn't get one either. Yeah, as rare as rocking horse turd people. Yeah, Hello Games in some patch notes did, I don't know what it's doing there, did say that they had increased the drop rate, but I don't know, I think it's rebroken again, people. Anyway, let's go talk to this little chappy. Hello, mate. Yes, I want to send out some expeditions. Yes, I do. So I'm going to send out one on the combat one. We'll go for the two hour one that's a three star. And let's go pick them up. Oh, yes, they're both A class now. My other one has made it to an S. But these two, taking their freaking sorry but tight time. I guess they are. Let's just send those two then. On your way. Fly, my prettiest fly. And you know what? I don't think I'm going to bother sending out any more of the organic ones. Because I, I honestly don't think... I, I kind of agree with you guys in the view of us. I think it might be a little bit foobarred, that one. I mean, I've been doing it each day. Haven't got any. So, yeah, that's kind of a wasted sort of exercise, in my opinion. Right, oh, well, you know what? I'm still going to jump to a Corvax Dissonant System because where I've placed my base at a Corvax Dissonant System was a little bit hilly. Didn't like it much. Yeah, so there is that. Let's have a look if we can find another Dissonant one. Uh, da -da -da -da, dissonant System, where are you? Okay, it takes me a little while to find these, to be honest. It'd be nice if you could dial it in on a subfilter to find some of these new galaxies like a band. Oh, there's one. Dissonant system. Found one. It'd be nice to be able to find pirate systems on a, on a filter and also the dissonant ones, I feel, anyway. Right, well, I have arrived, I guess. Let's head on up. Let's head on over to this console right here and let's go and see what planets I've been lucky enough to have had. Right, so is that dissonant? No. That one, oh, okay, it's, the ancient, it's got ancient bones on it, but it's got magnetised ferrite. That means it's going to have poxy storms, doesn't it? Ancient bones and storms. I was hoping it would be this one. It's got aggressive sentinels on it. Um, not dissonant, no. No, that's the only dissonant one. It's a smaller planet. Might have quite a lot of um, knowledge stones in a small proximity. Not that we need them now. But we're going to have a gander anyway, people, I guess. Oh, we don't have to go to the station this time because we don't have to learn Corvax. I'll see you down at the actual planet, people. We'll take a look to see if it's hilly or not. And then we'll start learning autophage regardless. Well, I'm coming down onto this dissonant world, and I'll tell you what. The last one that I was on was hilly. This one's freaking mountainous. No sod this. I don't think I want to look for freaking autophages on this planet because I'm going to spend most of my time climbing up and down freaking mountains. So you know what? I'm going to go back on up to my freighter <laughs> and I'm going to have another look for something inside. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Before I leave this system, though, if I just go into here and if I pop one of these, it's going to find me a sentinel ship inside of this system. I'll at least go and fix one autophage while I'm here so it's not a completely wasted time being here, you know, and I do need to try and get my count of autophages up to 40 anyway. So we're on 35 right now, so at least this is going to count for one. Now what I might do is duplicate a load of those little doohickeys for finding these sentinel ships. 
So let's uh, fly on down and I'll show you how I'm going to go about doing that. Because it's not the easiest of things to do, I suppose. Right, okay, so here we go. Let's head on down here. And you need to get one of those doohickeys in the first place. So it's not like it's ruining gameplay in any way, shape or form. It just stops a rinse and repeat sort of thing. I mean, I got all of those ones legit. I haven't duplicated them, but I'm about to in a moment. Here we go. Hello there, autophage guy. Yeah, I'll stick that in there. Hello. Oh, okay. He, he seems fairly happy, doesn't he? Slightly legless. Could do going to a second hand shop because there's only one hand there. In fact, he hasn't even got a body. Right, there we go. So that counts as one fixed anyway. So here we go. Let us let me show you how I can go about duplicating those doohickeys. So if I go into here, put the doohickey that I want to actually duplicate into there. So let's go find it. This is going to be fun, isn't it? Plowing for all of this. Echo locator. That's a camp, isn't it? Is that what I just used? I don't know. Um... It might have been, mightn't it? Oh no, it's this one here. That's the one we want. I think you get these for destroying uh, the dreadnoughts that appear from Sentinels. All right, so if I put those seven in there, then I get one of these refiners and I put it right on top of my other refiner, like Ghost Imager over the top. Okay, so you want it pretty much bang on. So there we go, that'll do. Now if I just press up on the build menu and do it again, it should put it in exactly the same place, and I can just carry on doing that till my heart's content. Not that I really need these things, you know. There you go, that'd do. Now when I pick it up, look, I'm going to get given seven of those things. Pick it up again. Another seven of them. Just keep going. I'm going to get loads of them. Carrier AI fragment. There we go. We've got a load of them. Lovely jubbly. Now I'm going to head back to my freighter, and then I'm going to be... Um, Head into another dissonant Korvax system and hopefully find an in something less mountainous. When you want to reach a mountainous planet, like on an expedition to achieve a badge, you can't find them for love nor money. It's um, it's a weird one, isn't it, people, this game? Sometimes it feels like the game is trolling you. OK, well, I think I found something a little bit unusual. I found a dissonant pirate Korvax system. I'm hoping that this planet is pretty flat are not mountainous because I'd love to put a base here at least I can do some pirate missions while I'm here as well people let's go and hit on up this console come on please be a star bramble one as well that'd be freaking awesome wouldn't it I'd tick all the freaking boxes oh it's it, it star ball it's star ball when it doesn't look like it's got any storms oh please be flat please don't be hilly or mountainous please okay let's go and have a look see Yes, this is this has turned out all right. Where's my shippity ship? Yeah, we could even do a couple of outlaw missions in this one. Mix it up a bit, perhaps. When I get bored of doing the old autophage, why the fudge not, mate? Heck yes. All right. Okay. Dream a dream. Where's that planet? So it's not this one with the rings on. It's the opposite one, isn't it? Where are you, planet? There you are. I see thee. Okay. But it's impossible to tell whether it's mountainous from here. We're going to have to fly on down. Let's take a look. Come on. Okay, people. Well, we've just broken the planet's sort of atmosphere. Oh, for fudge's sake, it's hilly, isn't it? Oh, balls. Oh, well. Um, yeah, it's a bit hilly. I mean, it looks quite nice, but it's, it is freaking hilly. It's, it's not much better than the previous planet that I had. Dang it! Okay, all right. Well, let's um, let's hit up an Echo's camp, shall we, on this planet, people? And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this into creative mode. Yeah, because then it makes the autophage missions a little bit easier. A lot of the time, it's fetch quests. I've done my fair share of fetch quests. Thank you very freaking much. So yes, yeah, so hopefully I can just hand in a load of the stuff. Anyway, I'll see you there. I'll see you at this um, autophage camp. Go on. See you in a bit. Okay, people, heading on down. Let's touch on down to this um, remote autophage signal. There we go. Oh, don't send in a storm. Dang it. Oh, look at the knowledge stones, though. There's knowledge stones freaking everywhere. Or at least I've seen two. I'm saying everywhere. I've seen two. Which, you know, if I was still having to learn Corvax, which I'm not, that's, this would be brilliant. And I'm liking the greenage of the grass. You see that? Learned nothing new. I've learned all that language. Not seeing all the little clouds around. Oh, yes, there are. They're very faint, though. Whoa! 
fudging hack. You appeared in my groin. Okay, let's say hello to you. Then well, you've said hello to me already. Righto, let's um, practice the old language. Yes, give me a word, mate. Your oh, friendship signal. Why not purify? I don't know what, whether what you just done could be classed as pure, mate. There we go. Opera assistance. Then again, it was my own fault, I suppose. Salvage ship components can't do those missions because I haven't got a free slot and I don't want to wreck and salvage one of my own ships. Bit silly, those missions. Okay, right, here we go. Let's um, practice language with this chap. See what he's got to say. Hello, buddy. Mystery symbol. Persist. Okay. All uh, right. I'm persisting with these freaking missions, even though I don't overly like them. Repair lost auto page. Brilliant. We've already prepared one, so I'll make two. I need to do five. So, yeah, that's nice. Anyway, I'm going to continue around doing this and do all the missions and uh, hopefully get more repair auto page missions. Righto. Well, we only got one of the repair auto pages. But as you know, sometimes when you go to repair an auto page, some more little droids appear. Hopefully not in your crotch. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> and then they give you some autophage missions. You know what? This planet isn't as hilly as the uh, first Corvax planet that I actually put down roots on. And it's a Starbolt planet where the other one wasn't. It was some sort of, I don't know, desert planet, wasn't it? So I might move my base here anyway. Well, we're landing by this partially built autophage. I do like the grass on here, and I do like the contrast with the purple crystals. It does look pretty cool, doesn't it? Alright, well that's weird. It looks like there's one right here, and it's pointing me to another one over there. Alright, okay, well, hopefully this counts as a repaired autophage too. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I think it might, you know, people. Sweet! Yes, feed it some uh, antium. Yes, I think that does count. It's not what we was looking for. Apparently, the one I'm after is 700 U's this way. That was just luck be had it, people. Luck be had it. 600 U's. It's over yonder hill. All right, well, I'll let you know when I get there. You know what? The more that I'm on this planet, the more I start to like it. I mean, look at this foliage. Look at this undergrowth. Isn't that quite cool? Yeah, I might move my base here and then delete my other Corvax base. I mean, I know it's not perfect because, look, you know, I'm, I'm on a slope again. I'm having to climb slightly, use my jetpack. It gets a little bit annoying to sort of, you know, traverse this terrain. But in all, in all honesty, because I'm looking for autophage camps, most of the exploration I'm doing is going to be in my starship anyway. I do like some of the creatures on this planet. This planet has got a lot going for it. It is quite an interesting planet. I mean, normally I'd say I like varied terrain because it adds to its sort of ambiance, doesn't it? But, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, let's go fix this autophage. I'll stop jibber-jabbering in a moment, people. Pick up some more missions. Uh, there we go. I think this is three autophages fixed now. And I haven't even dropped another one of those um, Sentinel ships in this system yet. So that'd be four after, if I do that. Anyway, let's scan for more autophages. There they are. Okay, right. Well, there's one, two, three... There's four to be... Oh, there's another one here. There's five to be spoken to here. Chances of me getting another autophage mission is quite high. Ah, look at this. When I go to practice language now, people, I only had one entry before. Let's see if it's still showing just the one. It is. Mystery symbol. I'm in the last bucket of words, people. That's pretty interesting, isn't it? Yes. I guess it is. Okay, here we go. Opera assistance. I mean, when you do this message, look, some of them are going to give me free autophage words. So that's probably why I'm getting it, I'm getting it done super quick. Here you go. Hand that in. Lovely. There you go. Three new words learnt there. Hello there, chap. How are you? Let's go practice language. Quest dialect help. There's only the mystery symbols left. Elsewhere. I guess. Well, I'm going to continue on with this. Hopefully we get a mission that says repair autophage. Repair lost autophage! It's my lucky day, isn't it, people? There you go, start mission. I'm going to build a base here, I think. Might as well. Okay, then, chums, well, I'm back. I've built a base. Now, you can see here... Look, doesn't that look a little bit rubbish? But when I actually scan... Chikaboom! Look, there's a tent there! Freaking love that! That's awesome! Ha <laughs> ha Okay, anyway, I've gone around and I've repaired all the autophages. Then I've returned back to the senders of those missions. 
And uh, yeah, check this out. So if I now go over to Govax and hit up Autophage over here at the side, I've now hit the highest total of Autophage salvaged. 40 of them was the maximum. So that's now returned the highest metal. I don't have to do any more of that. Although this says highest metal achieved, we're still learning. The autophage words were on 699. I wanted to hit 650. We've smashed that. Smashed it out of the freaking ballpark, people. So that's pretty darn freaking epic and awesome. I've uploaded this base. I guess I have. I'm going to head on up to the station. The station is a pirate station. We're going to do an outlaw mission before we end off today, people. Yes. You know what? I might as well just carry on hitting up auto pages in this system until we learn all the freaking lingo. I actually quite like this planet. It's actually quite groovy. Anyway, I'm going to head on up to the pirate station. You know what? I'll give you guys the coordinates just in case you want to come here. There you go. There's the coordinates in the bottom left hand corner. Go and hit those up it's inside of the yucca led system yucca led anyway i'll see you over inside of the station people when i get there in a moment right oh chums well i'm up inside of a pirate sort of space station eh? that's quite a nice multi-tool it's an a-class as well very nice boosted freaking scanner right from the off as well pretty nice anyways let's go and hit on up one of these piratey missions shall we people Heck yes, because at the moment, I think that's the only other thing I've got to really produce my standing with. So if I go to Outlaws, I've already done 18 missions. I'm fairly sure I've done more than 18 missions because I was looking for Station Overrides doing these missions and I've done a heck of a lot of them because I've got a quite a lot of Station E Overrides. Yeah, so you can get Station Overrides sometimes inside Pirate Systems, which might be what I start doing next episode. Uh, after we've learned the autophage. Once we've learned the autophage, that's what I might start doing. Doing pirate missions for station overrides, and we do a hunt for station overrides. Yeah, that could be fun. Anyway, uh, let's just do the first one. Let's go do that one. There we are. Start mission. Go. I'm just going to do this one quickly. Hopefully, it's nice and simple. I don't know where we can stack outlaw missions. To be honest, I'm not in any rush. We don't know when we might be getting another update, so, you know. Might as well just take my time with this, shouldn't I? Right, there we go. Galactic map. Oh, straight over there. Just a little fetch quest. Or deliver quest. Whichever way you want to look at it. Sweet. I'm probably going to get scanned by System of Fartas. But, uh, hopefully it'll be alright. We'll just arrive back out at the opposite side. And, uh, I, I just don't think I should really cut this, really. Might as well just chibber jabber. But, yeah. Kind of enjoying... What am I enjoying? Endgame... Well, it's, it's a daily task, and I do love firing up No Man's Sky just to bumble about. It's just relaxing, isn't it? Have a nice cup of tea in the morning, play a bit of No Man's Sky. Why the fudge not? Oh, look, we've got to deliver it to a planet. I was expecting to go into the old s space station for some reason. I mean, I haven't done a lot of outlaw missions, so I don't know how they all work. So you know what? I might actually kind of enjoy this a bit more than learning autophage. So let's fly on over here and let's go and deliver us to the delivery location. I kept it recording mainly because I thought I might get scanned by sentinels or system authorities, considering I'm just carrying a load of contraband on my person right now. Hasn't happened. Hmm. Maybe because I'm still in creative mode, which could be a little bit of a way of getting around all of that sort of shenanigans. Just pop it back into normal mode after I've done all my outlaw missions. Why the fudge not? All right, well, let's fly on down then. Let's... Oh, approximate location. I really don't like approximate locations. Right, let's do a scan. Let's just go land here and let's just hope that that's the blinking place I've got to be. I don't think it is because there's no, like, GT terminal or anything here. All right, well, let's have a scan. Let's see where I should be then. Oh, apparently this is it. Okay, didn't expect that. All right, cool. Oh, there was a little guy here. I didn't even see him. Hello there, my little Viking compondre. Oh, he's standing up on that little thing. All right, there you go. There you are. Done. You happy? Well, I guess he is. All right, fine. Well, I, I guess now we've got to head back to the outlaw bounty master back in the opposite system. You would need a lot of launch thruster fuel and stuff to do this, wouldn't you? If you was doing this normally without creative mode being active. All right, well, fine. Let's jump on back then. And let's go back to the pirate system. Back to the pirate station. Okay, well, I'm turning this in. There we go. Chicka-boom. Let's see if that counts as one mission done. Um, so, so, over here. And outlaws. 
Yes, we're now on 19 of 20. Okay, Corleo. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to start looking for maybe station overrides once I actually do this properly. But we've got a Sentinel map that's just appeared at the bottom now. But still no more lovely sort of station overrides. All right, cool. Anyway, I'm going to jump in my ship, out of my ship, create a save. And I think I'm going to fly on over to my freighter in a bit. But, you know, I, I know that the... The expedition isn't finished yet. So anyway, people, I think we're going to end off. So thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying these and you're doing something similar, let us know what you're up to for your end game. And if you haven't already smashed that subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button. I guess that'd be awesome. Be good to see you here again. Hit that notification bell. Lovely. Till next time. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.